cheap nail tip and you stay frugal with your next mannequin. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to grow your nails long with lemon. Yep, these beautiful things that just smell amazing. Wonderful fruit. Help your nails go long and strong and also remove staining. Whoa. Yep, lemons can take away nail bed staining. The first way you can grow your nails long with lemons. All you have to do is cut it open. Yep, all you gotta do is, yep, I got a dull mug. Nerf. I said no. I got a dull knife. Hold on. You're like, I'm in my kitchen. Kind of musty in here. Cut a lemon. Oh my goodness. Gonna smell it up real good. All right. Gotta cut your lemon. And then I usually cut off that little weird thing. You just cut that right off. And you got yourself a bowl. A perfect nail soak right there. Just dive right in, put your nails in there. Soak 10 to 15 minutes. I just love it because it's super easy. It's like it already is a little bowl that you could soak your nails in. It's great. It's time for the TMAY, which means tell me something about you. Down in the comment section down below. I don't know, it could be about anything. Maybe these orange candy slices. Have you ever had one? I don't know. Let us all know down in the comment section down below. I'm just showing you right now, but you definitely want to make sure that you don't have any nail polish on um, because you want your natural nail bed to soak up all the wonderful juices of the bed. This is my favorite way to do a nail soak because it's super easy. I mean, the bowl's already there. You don't even have to dirty your bowl. So that is the first method. The next method you could do, well, actually, before you do the other method, just a little quick um, helpful fact. If you use garlic on your nails, because, oh my goodness, if you're not using garlic on your nails, you should use garlic on your nails because garlic is, makes your nails so healthy and strong because it has selenium in it. But, you know, garlic has that smell. And if you don't like that smell, all you have to do is take a freshly cut lemon and rub it on your nail bed, and the lemon will help you. And it will take away the garlic smell. So, yeah, helpful fact. All right, now we're moving on to the second method. is where you take a bowl and you squeeze the lemon juice in the bowl. You can use a half a lemon, whole lemon, whatever you want. And then you want to go ahead and take two tablespoons of honey. Honey. I get a spoon. Put that on there. It's taking forever. Bottle. Dump it in there. Use as much honey as you got. I'm not trying to run you dry of money to buy honey. Never mind. Probably shouldn't use it all. And then you just got to mix it all together and you mix it all together. What do you gotta do? You know what you gotta do. You just dive right in. Put your nails in there and just soak for 10 to 15 minutes. Now, I always say soak your nails for 10 to 15 minutes, but you don't have to soak your nails that long or that short. It's all depending on you because I don't know when you get pruny. Um, so you should probably stop if you get pruny. You don't wanna get too pruny. Um, but I usually soak my nails for 10 to 15 minutes. And usually I don't do like a manicure right after I do DIY nail soaks because whatever you soak your nails in, your nail bed will soak that up. And then sooner or later, it's going to release like the, I don't know, liquid kind of, you know, it kind of releases that and then you don't want that to chip your nail polish. So I, when I do DIY nail soaks, I kind of do them like at night and then I go to bed and then the next day I do a manicure. Yeah, what a wonderful way to grow your nails long with lemons. Let's say you made your own homemade lemonade and you went and cut it, you cut your lemon and you use it for your lemonade and you're drinking your lemonade, take the pulp or right or whatever before you throw it away and go. That is all about lemons that I have to share with you, but you don't click out yet. And have you used lemons to grow your nails on? Do you have like different methods, different ways? Let us all know down in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got value out of this video and I will see you next Friday. Bye! It's now time for the G-T-K-M-A-Y, did I say right? Which means get to know me fact. And the get to know me fact is something that I've wanted to tell you for the longest time. I've always told people when they've commented about it, but I've never like said it in a video. That my right hand has long nails and my left hand has short nails. My right hand long, cause I love long nails and they're usually almond, a longer slash medium length with almond. And then I usually just keep a scrowned short nails on my left hand to play the guitar, see? Cause I wanna be different, I wanna be changed. So you guys have been wondering, but that is the reason why my left hand is short, other hand is long. But not all the time, actually. If I want them to match, cause sometimes I want them to be even, you know, I get that craving for evenness. So I usually have uh, cut these kind of, if they're long, I'll cut them to medium, have them almond, and then I'll grow these out, and they'll be medium almond, and then they'll match. Lefty, shorty, right hand longy. Not actually all the time. Sometimes I have to have them match, and I'll grow this, I'll grow these out. 
Okay? Something. But, uh, yeah.